This is Devinder Kaur and welcome to my YouTube channel The Enlightened Room. Well, today's video is based on the topic of previous video. In the previous video, we had talked about resistivity. Well, the question arises now, what is resistivity? Well, I had told you all about the resistivity, but I will explain it again. Okay, what resistivity is, it is a measure of resistance of a, a special material, of a material of given size to the electrical conduction. That means we should have a given size of conductor and we would measure the resistance of that given size of conductor and that is called the resistivity. So how materials are classified on the basis of resistivity? Now, first of all, there is conductor, okay? We had talked a lot about conductors, but the question arises, what is a conductor? That conducts electricity, that conducts heat, well, that material is a conductor. Then, what kind of materials are conductors? Okay, conductor is a substance. Yes, my dear students, conductor is a substance or a material that allows the flow of electrons into it okay that means electrons can flow or roam freely in that material and that material is called conductor because when battery is uh, attached to that conductor when electric current is supplied to it the uh, the electrons would form up in a line would start flowing from one end to another end and that would that would create electricity okay so that's why they are called conductors now what kind of materials are conductors well metals and alloys are referred to as conductors now why because their resistivity is low you all would have thought about it why do they do so why do they behave like this? Why they, why they just don't conduct electricity? But there's a reason behind it and that reason is based on the resistivity. Okay, Because they have low resistivity, they allow the electrons to move freely and the resistivity increases with increase in temperature. Okay, we all know we had talked about resistivity in the previous video and we all know that resistivity of a material depends upon the nature of the material and the temperature. Okay, so that's why as the temperature increases, the resistivity increases. Okay, now these are some metals and the um, manganese and alloy I had uh, written on this board and there these are the value ranges of resistivity well first of all we have silver that has the resistivity of 1.6 into 10 to the negative 8 ohm ohm meter okay so as you all can see silver has the least resistivity because even the copper is one point greater as compared to silver in terms of resistivity but we use Copper as wires more as compared to the silver. Silver is the best conductor, my dear students. Silver is the best conductor, but still it is not that much used in wires. Why? Because it is expensive. Copper isn't that expensive. We can uh, get copper at very cheap prices. Okay, and then comes the gold. Well, gold has a pretty much high resistivity as compared to copper and silver. That's why gold is not used in wires or in other substances. Okay, but you can use gold in very special experiments. Okay, we even use diamonds in special experiments in physics. You all will know that. And then comes the alloys. I have just given just one example of that. And that is a manganese whose resistivity is 0 0.000002 ohm meter. <laughs> That's pretty low, but not that much like this, okay? 
So this is all about the conductors and why the conductors are used in wires, okay, and why do they behave like this, okay. Now let's talk about the semiconductors. Before talking about semiconductors, let's talk about the insulators, okay. So then it would be easy for you to understand. Well, insulators are those which do not conduct electricity, which do not conduct heat. That means they do not allow the flow of electrons into them. They do not allow the electrons to roam in them freely. And the best example is plastic, okay. You all, if you all have seen the video I had uploaded, I had told you that we have copper wire and there's a plastic that is coated over the wire. Why? Because if we touch this part directly when the current is flowing through it, we would get electric shock. But the plastic is an insulator and we would not get shock because the electrons would not be able to roam freely and the electricity would not flow through the plastic. It would just flow through these copper wires. Okay. So insulators are one they, they do not conduct electricity, they do not allow the flow of electrons. Now why? Because they have really high resistivity, really high. You can compare these with these, pretty much high. And even the uh, resistivity decreases with the increase in temperature, okay? But we can, if we keep on increasing the temperature, they would start melting. So we cannot increase the temperature in this case. Okay. So that's why they behave like so because their resistivity is too high. Now let's talk about these semiconductors. Now what semiconductors are that behave like insulator and conductor. Okay. Uh, they lies in between the insul uh, insulator and conductor because their resistivity lies between the insulators and conductors. And there are very few materials in our periodic table that behave like semiconductor. Now why they behave so? Because they have few electrons to roam freely as compared to the conductors. Okay. So the materials that are used that are used as semiconductors are germanium and silicon and here are the resistivity of these materials. Silic uh, silicon has a resistivity of negative 0.075 ohm meter and germanium has a resistivity of negative 0.048 ohm meter okay now let's talk about the superconductors we would not talk about that much because in our syllabus these three parts are enough but superconductors are those whose resistivity becomes zero at some specific temperature at that specific special temperature is called critical temperature. You all will get to know about the critical temperature in the higher classes, but you all should get to know about superconductors. Now, why they are called supercondu superconductors? Because they achieve the zero resistivity at some special temperature. Conductors are not able to do that. Okay. But superconductors are able to do that to achieve zero resistivity. So they would conduct superly. That's why they are called superconductors. So these are the materials. This is the classification of materials that is based on the resistivity. Okay. So this is up for today's video. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.